Okay, today is uh, October the 10th, uh, Tuesday, and uh, I'm just checking out some of the status of this uh, child day. Look at that. It's getting bigger now. Very impressive, huh? So, so uh, I'm out here. I'm out here today, um, getting ready for the winter. So, uh, in the Bay Area, winter starts around in a couple weeks. Things gonna get pretty cold, and I want to uh, basically try some uh, different methods of. Um, protecting the mango this year so I'm prepping uh, some of the uh, uh, structures and okay, I also uh, harvested the corn so saving the seeds for next year it's a very pretty color these corns are really pretty i'll say that for next year the seeds let's go take a look at the mango It's out in the open. You see, that's a lemon zest right there. That's the tree right there. And uh, I want to try something different new this year. And I um, usually don't protect this tree at all. But I noticed that if you protect them, they will do much better in terms of growth for next year. So I started this thing, you know, so far, let me see, I built this structure and uh, getting ready to uh, uh, cover it up in a few weeks. I won't do it now, but uh, when it starts to get cold, that's when uh, I will have it up. So here's the... Uh, lemon zest and it's, it's you can see there's there's a lot of new growth coming up right now you see and that new growth that's a new growth those are the new leaves new growth so considering it's uh, it's gonna get cold in a few weeks I want to protect those uh, tender leaves
I was uh, doing some cleaning, I have a little bit of cleaning up and around this area and I got a couple of surprises. Number one, I found this tomato in here, somewhere in here. A ripening of tomatoes. So you can see here, this is a uh, Mycherimoy tree. There's a couple of uh, tomatoes here too. They're not ripe yet. And this one is beautiful. It looks like it's almost ready. It's nice and big. Beautiful. This one's still green. So this is the one I found inside this uh, cherimoy trees that I have here growing the front yard and uh, it was somewhere in here and I picked it and you can see there's a couple more right there tomatoes but those are still green so kind of a nice surprise you know like this is a when you're like unexpected and it's just like poof so I was doing some uh, cherimoya and pollination you know and that's when I notice it and this is the Jeremiah fruit so this tree is about maybe six years old I grew it from seed and uh, let's see there's uh, quite a few uh, wow here here which I've been uh, pollinating a few minutes ago and then the other surprise is this one you see I didn't realize how big this fruit is on this tree look at it, the size of it so this is another tree which I started from seed a couple years ago and look at that That's a pretty big size. You compare that to my thumb there. It's such a nice fruit there. Nice looking fruit. So, and then compared to the this one that we saw earlier, you know, look at the size there. It's totally different. So that one has a size of about my tomato here oh there's a couple more tomatoes so this is uh, the front yard is just basically more of a tomato uh, section here because I love tomatoes uh, it's great for pasta making pasta and uh, I want to actually uh, uh, people were talking about going to, um, not cherimoya but papa. Papa is very similar to cherimoya. And uh, let's see, this is a seedling which I started a couple of years ago. And here it is. This is one of them. in a section uh, where it gets more sun somewhat but late afternoon shades this one has a little bit more sun here this other one it's got a little bit more sun to it so there's a couple more in the back 